The quilt that I'm showing was pieced and quilted by my grandmother, Barbara Swadley Thomas, some 150 plus years ago. The pattern or design is the Star of Lamo on the inside and Swallows in the window on the outside. The barn which it is displayed on was built in 1898. The house on the property was built in 1915. Mm -hmm. Well, why did you choose this one for the quilt trail? The colors in it would stand out a lot better than some of the others I had. Uh, do you have more quilts from oh, your yes. grandmother? Well, oh, yes. What do you know about her uh, as a quilter and uh, her just her as a, a, a seamstress? She was very talented in sewing. She taught me to make my first doll clothes. Mm -hmm. And I remember the quiltings that they used to meet in people's houses. And there'd be like six or eight women. And they'd spend the day quilting from one or the other. <laughs> and it was so funny. I said, that would have been better than the news at six o'clock. What about how um, how your grandmother came to be here and how her family came to be in this area? She was from the Swadley generation. And back in those days, they shared, the farmers did. If you had a crop, you would use men from another farm and vice versa. And my grandfather had come down from Damascus, Virginia and was working for the Barnes family. Mm -hmm. And when they switched, he saw my grandmother and said he was going to marry her. Well, that just blew the whole world apart. But anyway, they did get married. Because he was from far away? Well, because he was a tenant farmer, not an owner. Okay. And back in those days, they were looking for somebody that had property and their daughter was going. But in the end, they always said, she did better with her husband than a lot of them did with theirs that was uptown people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. she, uh, they had a tenant's house they lived in when they got married, and then they built this house in 1915, and she lived here until her death, and she was 93 years old, 92 plus, almost 93 years old. Had her mind up until the day she died. Mm. Anything else to share about the um, this quilt or anything else? Um, the only thing I hate today, young people in the next generation won't even know what you're talking about if it keeps on. Mm -hmm. That's my opinion and feel that will happen. Won't know about this quilting style or about hand quilting. Mm -hmm. There won't be any hand quilting. Mm. For them the to machines. see, mm -hmm. it'll be on the machine. Mm -hmm. Why? Why is doing this kind of hand piecing and hand quilting important? Because, to me, it shows the ability you have to take a piece of mm -hmm. fabric mm -hmm. and design it into something that's a picture. Mm -hmm. But I would. They said, if you can get five stitches mm -hmm. in an inch, you are pretty good quilter. I never could do it. <laughs> and and how, you see how many stitches could she do in an inch here? I would say she probably did five. Or more. At least. Yeah. But it's held up pretty well. I think the underneath is as pretty as the top as far as the quilting. Mm -hmm. But when I was asked to help judge that quilting, I said, that's not quilting. That's a machine. This is quilting. Mm 